welcome back to the channel. So did you know that you can actually vary the speed at which the DJI Avada flies at as its maximum? So you don't have to fly always in normal mode at 17.9 or in sport mode at I think it's 31.2 or something like that. So if you didn't, let me show you how it's done. Simply start it, press on your 5D button, go into your settings, then come down to controller. Select your motion controller and then go over to gain tuning. And then you, there you'll see a series of speeds in the normal mode, and this uh, applies to the sport mode also. But you can come down here and select the speed you want it to fly in. So you don't have to fly at 17.9. You can set it to any speed in between there, and each one of those speeds are approximately 1.1 miles an hour. So I assume that's similar to or the conversion rate versus uh, meters per second. So exit out of that. There's a full trigger pull on the uh, motion controller too. And there we are at a whopping 2.1, maybe 2.2, there we go, miles per hour, just like we set it. Now this can also be done for the sport mode. And let me show you that. All right, so once again, we're gonna go back in and press our 5D button, come back into our controller select the motion controller and go back into the gain tuning and this time we're just going to go over to the sport mode and when you select that you'll see the default is 31.3 but just like in normal mode you can select any speed in between okay and something else you can do with the rc motion controller 2 is you can set the reverse speed to go fairly fast also. It's something I don't recommend, but you can also set that in the normal speed to go to 17.9. And uh, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And if you're wondering what the lateral flight speed and the vertical flight speed do, that is only used with the joystick on the motion controller if you're sort of like in a hover or uh, you want to move it side to side or up and down while you're flying forward you can actually use that but I I don't see a need for it for FPV but you might well I hope you found this video informative or helpful in any way if you did definitely give me a thumbs up think about subscribing I'll be posting some more on the Avada and my adventures in FPV and Thanks for watching. Have a great day.